uh, a very warm welcome uh, to everyone, uh, not only you as in-person participants, but also all instructors, helpers, and keynote speakers, um, as well as everyone online. Uh, a very warm welcome to Copenhagen. We're extremely happy that uh, so many of you joined us uh, today, and uh, we hope you had a great trip to Copenhagen and a good start into this first morning of uh, the summer school. Um, before we kick off uh, this event, uh, I would like to say an enormous thank you uh, to all uh, uh, instructors, keynote speakers, and helpers that were uh, involved in uh, making this event happen. Um, although our group here at SSI uh, is the host institution this year, this is a huge uh, group effort across many institutions and uh, countries. So many, many thanks to all instructors, keynote speakers, helpers, um, and especially, of course, as well, to the local organization team. Uh, without you, this would definitely not be possible. Um, I'd also like to say that uh, all of the uh, course fees uh, we used uh, to cover um, the cost for the instructors um, for travel and accommodation, um, as well as uh, the catering um, for the summer school. Um, so basically, everyone here is uh, here on a voluntary Basis. So many, many thanks for your enthusiasm and support in uh, making this event happen. Um, so with that said, um, we hope you will enjoy your stay in Copenhagen, uh, not only uh, the, your summer school here, but we hope you get also to explore the city a little bit. Um, we are really close to the city center here. It's a 30 minutes walk um, and 10 minutes walk to the canals. So maybe you want to risk jump uh, into the water now that the Nice summer weather uh, back. Um, also, we hope we can contribute a bit uh, to the Danish experience. Um, we ordered a bagel sausage uh, for, um, today for the icebreaking event. So we hope you will get a, a bit of a first-hand experience of some typical um, Danish street food uh, tonight. Um, and just to tell you a little bit uh, of uh, where we are today, uh, so we are here at the Staten Serum Institute, which is basically the Danish National Institute of Health, and uh, along uh, side of providing uh, the Danish population with a number of healthcare services such as vaccination or the screening of newborns. Um, we also have a very active uh, research environment, and we also host um, different other platforms and organizations such as the supercomputer infrastructure, the Danish National Genome Center or uh, the Danish National Biobank. And you'll also have the opportunity to visit uh, the Danish National Biobank uh, today uh, in the afternoon. Um, and uh, this biobank is with uh, 8.5 million samples in store. Um, it is one of the biggest and most advanced uh, biobanks in the world. And um, all of the samples that are stored here uh, on campus can be used for research purposes. And this is especially um, appealing in a Danish context because we can link all of those biological samples to diverse um, uh, health and social records in the Danish registries. Um, here uh, in my role at SSI, I'm heading the Clinical Metabolomics Research Group at the section for uh, clinical mass spectrometry at the Danish Center for Neonatal Screening. And uh, our main study focus on the neonatal blood uh, blood spots which are uh, routinely collected during a uh, newborn screening. So basically at birth, every baby born in Denmark um, is screened for 19 uh, neonatal uh, severe disorders. And those samples are being stored uh, here uh, at the National Biobank. And we uh, can use uh, those samples for research purposes. We currently sum up to over 2 million samples, which um, corresponds to about half of the Danish population. Um, so of course, um, offering um, great uh, opportunities for population-based uh, uh, health research studies. And so our vision is uh, to use this massive sample resource um, to basically develop um, predictive, preventive, and personalized uh, diagnostics. So basically uh, discovering disease at a very early stage at uh, the birth. And uh, we think that metabolomics methods are a great tool um, uh, to develop such met methods because the metabolome um, reflects uh, many aspects that influence our health, um, be it genetics, 
um, things to ingest, uh, such as uh, food or medication, as well as, of course, um, the microbiome. And so with this um, uh, background uh, in mind, we have designed uh, this year's uh, summer school with a bit more uh, focus on uh, biomedical research and metabolomics methods applied uh, to the health sciences. And we will cover all aspects of the metabolomics uh, workflow. So from designing an experiment to acquiring data, uh, doing fault control, to pre-processing chemical structural rotation, uh, statistical analysis, as well as um, biological importation. However, we will have a very strong focus on uh, the chemical structural annotation part. Um, this is because we think um, it's particularly important, but also because it's a current bottleneck in the field as um, uh, most structures that we uh, detect in our target metabolomics experiments still remain unknown. Um, but luckily, um, many great tools have been developed in more recent years um, that are maybe not so much applied or well known yet in the biomedical research field and so our hope with the summer school is that we can bring bring you these tools a little closer and hopefully also make them more accessible um, to your own research projects. Um, we were extremely overwhelmed with the number of participants and, and applications we got for the summer school and um, it we were really honored it's it's awesome that we uh, fostered so much uh, interest we had a total of 140 applicants um, but unfortunately, that meant also that we had to, to choose uh, because of space limitations. We only could admit um, 50 uh, of, uh, of you uh, that are here today with us. And we hope by making this event um, available uh, online, we can also make it possible that everyone that uh, did not get a spot this time uh, will be hopefully able to join us uh, remotely. Um, we also um, will make all the recordings available uh, online afterwards. That is, if all everything on our IT side uh, works out well. Um, then we also uh, got a lot of waiver applications. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't grant all of them due to uh, financial restrictions. Um, but we are very happy that we could grant 10% uh, of the in-person participants that are here with us today with a uh, waiver uh, to come to the summer school. Um, for you, the in-person participants, um, we were very happy that uh, you come from very diverse backgrounds. We have a total of um, 17 different uh, host institution countries uh, represented here today and uh, in uh, diverse research areas. Um, as the summer school, uh, this year is a bit more focused on biomedical uh, research. We gave priority uh, to uh, people that work in the health sciences, so that is why that's uh, Fifty-six percent of you um, are working within uh, biomedical uh, research fields. Um, also, uh, most of you come from academia, but we are also happy that we have some uh, representatives of industry with us here today. Um, and of course, because this is also a PhD course, um, we gave preference to PhD uh, students. But we are happy that uh, some of you are also at uh, the postdoc or assistant uh, or associate. Uh, level. Um, when you applied for the course, um, we asked you a little bit more about your background uh, with the metabolomics and mass spectrometry, and uh, we tried to integrate uh, this information as best as possible when we uh, designed uh, the course. Um, today, we will start with some mass spectrometry basics um, and uh, quality control and uh, quality assurance. Um, then Tuesday uh, will be all about uh, MZ9 uh, pre-processing. Uh, pre we have the honor of having the developers uh, themselves of MZ9 uh, here uh, with us. Uh, so they will uh, give you the latest uh, tips and tricks uh, within MZ9 uh, pre-processing. Um, then Wednesday and Thursday will be focused on uh, several cutting edge um, chemical structural annotation tools. And uh, Friday, uh, we will sum up with some statistical analysis and uh, biological interpretation. And uh, we hope we made uh, the program as varied and fun um, as possible um, by integrating also several um, great keynote talks, um, as well as uh, tours to the biobank and laboratories today. Um, and also we try to make as much time as possible for uh, 
hands on um, exercising uh, during the course. Um, so we hope uh, you will have great uh, overall experience um, that you get to know each other during the breaks. I'll make uh, exciting scientific uh, connections and hopefully have a really good overall uh, learning experience. Um, we will try to stick as close as possible to the program, um, but also, of course, might adapt slightly depending on how fast uh, we move forward with the exercises. And uh, so just to sum up with uh, some practicalities, um, internet access, you should all have uh, gotten a, a leaf, uh, like a sheet uh, of paper um, with um, a username and password. And uh, you will be able to log into the SIPS uh, guest network with those details. And those uh, this password and username will be valid for the whole week. So maybe take a picture on your phone of it um, so, so you don't lose it. Um, then also you should have all gotten a name card. Um, this name card will give you access to the facilities um, every morning. Um, when you show it at the reception, we will hand out this little QR sticker, um, which is um, particular for each day. So you, you will need to pass by the reception and to get one of those stickers um, every day. Um, so, so please bring your um, name tag with you. Um, that would be great. Um, then also, um, we made a GitHub repository where most of the information is contained that you will use during the course. And also we have a uh, Google uh, Drive link where we will put on uh, slides and things that are uh, a bit uh, bigger. Um, you can either access those links from the slides uh, that I shared in this Google Drive or um, from the email that uh, we sent out uh, to you on uh, Thursday. Um, also, we will have some lab tours during, uh, throughout the day, so it's not as scheduled in the program uh, together with the biobank tours, but it will be um, split up in several small teams that we will do during the breaks today and tomorrow. And if you're interested in seeing the labs here, then please sign up in uh, the Google Docs. There should be a sheet named uh, lab tours when you, where you can put in your name. Um, and uh, the sign up will be open uh, today until 11 o'clock. So if you're interested, it would be a good idea if you uh, sign yourself up um, in, in the next uh, few hours. Um, then also we will do a group exercise. Um, unfortunately, this is only possible for the in-person participants, but online participants may naturally follow the exercise um, uh, on your own at, at home. But for all um, in-person participants, it will be great if you can sign up in uh, the group exercise sheet on the Google Drive. Um, some of you um, that want the ECTS uh, points, it will be good if you are in the same group um, because you will be evaluated uh, at the end of the course on Friday afternoon. Um, but also, if you're not interested in getting the ECTS, I think it will be great if you sign up for the groups because it will be much more fun uh, to follow. Uh, the summer school, if you actually actively participate in, in the work. Um, yes, and then last but not least, um, we will provide a lunch uh, as well as a um, coffee and a cake uh, in the afternoon. Um, if you have food allergies, your name will be written on the sandwich that is delivered. And if you cannot eat cake, uh, there will be food uh, instead. Um, we recommend that you bring your own water bottle as we won't uh, provide uh, water during the course, but there is tap water um, that you can uh, refill your bottle with. Um, dinner will be on your own. Uh, of course, uh, today there will be a light snack, uh, the Danish uh, sausage corn, as, as I mentioned before. Um, also, I should mention that uh, the toilets are not working in the building, uh, but <laughs> there is a, a little toilet uh, uh, installed uh, outside of the building uh, that we may use during the course. And uh, so last but not, not, not least, I think uh, let's all give a really big hands to all instructors, uh, keynote speakers and helpers, and uh, especially also the local organization uh, team. And uh, let the show begin.
Yeah, sí.